Howdy guys, in today's video of Vinyl Cut, we'll be looking at how to convert a stroke to a shape using the stroke to path feature. But let's start with a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. You guys all know this, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also we upload videos daily. So just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we're back in the program here now. Um, yeah, this is quite a, a handy little feature you can use. Um, I, I would have liked it if more programs or vector type programs had this. So what you can do basically is you can separate your stroke, or your outline, to its own individual shape, which is uh, quite rare to find in programs. In any case, so let's say we want to take this um, outline and turn it into a, its own shape. There's multiple reasons why you could do this. Perhaps you um, like the, the dimensions of the size of the um, stroke rather, or you want a shape that looks like a um, stroke, but it's not actually uh, an outline. So then to do that, what you can do is we navigate here on top to path, and then we navigate all the way to the bottom to stroke to path. I'm not sure we might be able to um, right click as well, and then we go to path and then let's see if we have it under this menu. Mm, no. So like many features you'll see it will be either under on top to stroke to path or if you right click. It's rather strange. I'm not sure why they would uh, limit some features. In any case, so after that, so uh, once again, so it's path on top. If you have your object selected and then you'll navigate down to stroke to path. Now you can see with our actual um, shape here on the right, it's now thrown into a folder with that for us, and now we've got the hard stroke and the heart by itself. So now with the stroke selected, we can actually move it around. And if we go to, um, okay, just select it inside the group first, and then we can move it around. And now if we go to the actual full and um, stroke panel, you'll see it's no longer a stroke. So the stroke color is set to none and the full color is set to solid. Then let's say you want to um, make this a solid shape like this one, but with this new side. So let's say you didn't want to have just the outline. Then what you can always do, you go to the styles properties panel. It will be on the right, the little spanner. Then we navigate to style and we set it to blackout. Once we've selected this, now you can see it's a solid shape, but a slight bit larger. So you can always put a stroke to this just the size to what you like if you need it because uh, some complex sizes um, gives you a different shape if you do it um, with a stroke rather than scaling the, the actual object and then you can just do that and then you can once again go to your full and um, stroke panel and just change your color there which is a uh, pretty handy but otherwise if we navigate here to vinylcut.co.za the program is freely available here just head to the downloads page Otherwise, on the software training.co.za, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, if you're on isolate your search and you're looking for anything specific, you can just go here to the search option and type in there. Then, uh, if you um, store on dry and you don't find what you're looking for, you can always go here, request a training video. Then uh, we will make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.